the project originated as a full building renovation, which included lighting and had a very small budget. They had about $350,000 to do $700,000 in work. One of the items for this project was the lighting. And we know this is a very large facility and they wanted 75 foot candles, which is, you know, 50% more than an office building. So alarms went off right there that, you know, typically for a warehouse you want 30 foot candles and they wanted more than double that. I had already ran some preliminary calculations. I already knew that the space could be relit as a one for one. From that point, I just talked to the owner about what we would be giving them, which would be a design space and they had a control scheme that could be used for this tenant and future tenants. I got a call from David that he had a project that was a renovation job around 220 uh, existing high bays. He really wanted to provide the end user with a, a solution that would work great moving forward, that would be really flexible, uh, tailored to different needs if the facility changed or the tenant changed. And uh, that's when we started looking at some of our different control options. We landed on Inlight because that's where we've been living. You know, we're, we're used to Inlight. We know that gives us individual fixture control. We know that it's reasonable. We know it's reliable. Uh, as we dug a little deeper into the project, the existing lighting there was 208 volt. You can't get Inlight in 208 volt. So we wondered, what are we gonna use? That's when we arrived at X-Point Wireless. X-Point Wireless had the capability to do 480, uh, 240, 208, and so he decided to use that product on this project. I was familiar with the IBH and the IBZ. I had to get up to speed on the IBG with it being a newer product. And once I got familiar and comfortable with those options, then that was the fixture we decided on. As N3D Group went through the design process on this project, LHI was able to collaborate with them and look at uh, just the, the performance of the IBG is, is quite a story. And when you put that out there, the lumens per watt uh, the, the wonderful energy performance of the, of the fixture, and then the individual fixture control that you get with X-Point Wireless, that type of a performance specification is, uh, is a very, very strong spec to get out into the marketplace, and, uh, and it stood up. So we, we had a progress meeting two weeks ago, and as I walked into the progress meeting, I did not come to the building first. I walked straight into the progress meeting, and I had several of the owner's representatives telling me what a good job the lighting was. So I was sitting back, kind of waiting for the meeting to end so I could get here and see the building. And when I walked in the door, I was amazed to just see the uniformities. The, the shadows had been completely removed from the building, behind columns, you know, around corners, just this, the space was so evenly lit. So the fixture itself, with the vertical illumination, has really helped us in this space to just look phenomenal. I think with any new technology, there's certainly a learning curve and there's perceptions. What we learned on this project was that it went in better than advertised. Uh, talked to the foreman on the job and he said that it, they were able to do four fixtures an hour. That's two hots in the ground, supporting it, getting it up there. Uh, he felt like he would do about two fixtures an hour if he would have had to do a wired type of solution. Here we are, the brand new technology that we're trying to get out in mass and uh, what we've learned is it's, it's even better than we thought it would be. Any project I start, I go directly to Lithonia. Working with LHI has allowed me to stay on the cutting edge of the Lithonia product line. We should be screaming from the mountaintops of what we can offer. And I learned that on this job. We've got a big task ahead of us to really educate the marketplace at the contractor level, at the distributor level, at the specifiers level. All of our folks need to be educated as quickly as possible because uh, you know it's here the solutions are here and it's up to us to get out into the marketplace and really let people know what's available to them